Lucid Motors has achieved a lot for a company that is yet to release its debut EV on the road. Many people have the misconception that Lucid is a very new company that has originated in the past two to three years. This is both true and false at the same time. Lucid was priorly known as Ativa and has been around for over a year. How and why did Ativa become Lucid Motors? And are the goals of Lucid and Ativa aligned? Welcome everyone to another video on New Vehicle Media, the channel that guards all the latest updates on Lucid. Before moving any further, feel free to subscribe if you haven't done so already, like the video, and leave your feedback in the comments section below and get featured at the end of one of our videos. Ativa Origins First, let's begin with the origins of Ativa. The company was formed back in 2007 by Bernard C. and Sam Wang. Bernard C. was among the board of directors at Tesla from the year 2003 till 2007 and also worked as a VP at Tesla. Sam Wang was an executive at Oracle before quitting to make Ativa. The most common thing for any new company, especially a car maker, is to develop its prototype. However, this was not the case for Ativa. The co-founders focused all resources towards making an advanced EV technology. This could only be done by mastering the battery, motors, and control systems, as these are the core of any EV. This is why there are over 100 patents held by Ativa that are related to battery, motors, and control systems technology. If we look at this from the present point of reference, it was the right decision to use tunnel vision and focus on just these things. Fewer human resources and less capital was utilized this way as well. This has made the outrageous range of the Lucid Air and the Formula E achievements possible. It was in the year 2014 that Ativa shifted its focus towards making a car. For this purpose, there was a large-scale hiring of ex-Tesla engineers who played important roles in the development of the Tesla Model S. An interesting thing about this specific hiring of people who worked on the Model S is that it shows Ativa was always planning to make a luxury sedan rather than anything affordable or small for its debut EV. Hence, it needed just the right people to work on the Lucid Air. One very important hiring was of Peter Rawlinson in 2013, who was the first chief technical officer and later the CEO. Rawlinson changed the landscape of the company and we will discuss it in detail later in the video. Ativa also moved to a larger facility in Menlo Park, California at the same time. Performances and Accomplishments A very early display of the performance accomplishments by Ativa was done in 2016 when the company's engineers raced a van with a Tesla Model S and a Ferrari. It was no ordinary van, but a Mercedes Metris van converted into a fully electric one. The nickname given to it was Edna. What makes Edna more interesting is that it could reach 60 miles an hour from a standstill in just 3.08 seconds. This resulted in Edna beating both the Tesla Model S and the Ferrari. The main demonstration in this stunt was that Ativa is working on such a technology that will be able to take on the best of both worlds. Putting it all together inside a Mercedes Metris van is just adding weight to the already bold statement. Specifications of Edna consisted of two gearboxes, one 87 kilowatt hour battery, and two power electronic sets. All this combined to give the van a total of 900 horsepower. All the emphasis on making a better battery, motors, and control systems had proven its worth and how the correct path was chosen right from the start. Edna was a powerful show of how the initial research and development has bred something amazing with the help of ex-Tesla and other major brand employees. This same drivetrain was set to be the base of the debut sedan by Ativa, which was at the moment scheduled to be released in the year 2018. The most substantial achievement done by Ativa was the designing and perfection of the Formula E battery pack. Lucid Motors announced this in November 2019 through its technology wing by the name Ativa. This new battery technology was released to be used in the 2019-2020 season of Formula E. Ativa had already supplied batteries for the Formula E in the previous season that was only able to last for half the duration of the race. What made this year's technology brilliant and unbelievable was the fact that the battery could last 
for the course of the whole race and also exceeded previous performances. This provided Ativa an international stage to showcase what it had in it and also set the stage for Lucid to reveal its debut car in later years. An extensive amount of research and development went into making the battery pack. All the proprietary data, such as patents, played an important role and helped the engineers make a battery cell that would give the best power and energy output to support the Formula E race cars throughout the whole race. Even the shape of the battery pack was determined through extensive research and development. It resulted in a trapezium-shaped battery that was most optimal to integrate with the structure and aerodynamics of the Formula E race cars. Then, the team developed the BMS battery management system in-house so that there would be no degradation in the battery and it would be at peak performance throughout the races. Becoming Lucid Motors Ativa was on a steady path with its initial name until the year 2013. It was the year when the company approached Peter Rawlinson to become a part of it. Rawlinson put up two conditions that were to be fulfilled if he was to join. Firstly, the company will not make any car, but the best car there has ever been. He was aiming to make the best electric vehicle the world has seen. Rawlinson was a man uninterested in making a mediocre product as he had many ideas that could take the company to the next level and reach the heights he had in mind. The second condition is the most interesting one. Rollins had said that the name of the company had to be changed from Ativa to something else. His exact words were that it sounded like some kind of yogurt. These ideas were both not rejected, but rather struck the executives at Ativa. This then led to the birth of Lucid in 2016, an EV maker that just wasn't there to make any EV, but the best EV there ever was. Rawlinson was thinking quite differently from everyone else. While the sanest thing would have been to go after the Tesla Model S and beat that, Rawlinson planned to take on high-end car makers like Lexus, Jaguar, and all those made in Germany. The rebranding had been a successful shift from Ativa, an EV technology developer known for performance, to Lucid Motors, an EV maker bound on delivering just the best and the finest EV. A post-luxury theme was chosen for the highly capable Lucid Air. This was done to complement the best-in-class battery technology, range, and outrageous speed that the debut sedan was promising. Ativa was planning to release its first EV in the year 2018, but the Lucid Air is set to be delivered in the second half of 2021 due to the delays done in the refinement process. The Wrap-Up Ativa began focusing just on perfecting the parts that ran an EV rather than the EV as a whole. Its efforts at making an exceptional battery, motor, and control system have given it huge benefits several times. The first achievement was in the form of Edna, the Mercedes van converted into electric that beat a Ferrari and a Tesla Model S. However, the most notable achievement was developing the battery for Formula E racers. Previous battery technology only lasted partly through the race, while this new technology allowed the race cars to complete the races without even losing any performance. Ativa was rebranded in the year 2016 to form Lucid. It is the brainchild of Peter Rawlinson who planned to infuse the already phenomenal EV technology with high-end features and make the best EV there ever was. This rebranding for post-luxury and all the performance focus from Ativa is seen in every aspect of the Lucid Air that is set to take on legacy car makers like BMW, Mercedes, Lexus, and Jaguar when it comes to luxury, performance, and tech. Dan Bamjan is very excited about Lucid and Rawlinson as their CEO. What do you think about Lucid and their past as a Tiva? Will they be able to compete with the already existing brands? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. If you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to do so. It has no price tag and is reversible at any given moment. Thanks for watching.